former Democratic presidential candidate Tulsi Gabbard is here. Tulsi, I don't think Coons is faking it. He's been a Biden lover since the jump. Van Jones has been pushing Biden out harder than anybody. Those are crocodile tears. That guy's the best actor on CNN. You know, the, the fact that they're touting uh, President Joe Biden making this decision as doing what's best for the country, uh, you know, it, it's, it's just hypocrisy given how many of them, as you mentioned, have been saying for days that he should step down as the Democratic nominee. I, I, think, I think the thing here to focus on, Jesse, is all of these different uh, calls and questions come up about what happens next, uh, whether Joe Biden is... Uh, you know, actually resigns or he doesn't. We just got to remember, nothing's going to change. If Kamala Harris is the nominee or some other Democrat is the nominee, nothing else is going to change. Joe Biden has been the figurehead for people behind the scenes who have been calling the shots. The same will happen if Kamala Harris is elected president and, or other Democrats. The, the fact is we've got unelected power elite in Washington coming from the military industrial complex, national security state, working with their friends in the big industrial propaganda media. They all just want to stay in power. So they don't really actually care at all about Joe Biden, no, how, no matter how many crocodile tears they shed. They're going to look for the best horse that they think will help them win and back that person. Kamala is probably easier to manipulate than Joe Biden. At least Joe Biden knew who was who in Washington. Kamala's Spring chicken. She's brand new in this scene. She doesn't know anybody. She doesn't know where it's coming from. You certainly did, though. Remember on that debate? You tangled with Kamala. Let's watch this. Senator Harris says she's proud of her record as a prosecutor and that she'll be a prosecutor president. But I'm deeply concerned about this record. There are too many examples to cite, but she put over 1,500 people in jail for marijuana violations and then laughed about it when she was asked if she ever smoked marijuana. She blocked evidence. She blocked evidence that would have freed an innocent man from death row until the courts forced her to do so. She kept people in prison beyond their sentences to use them as cheap labor for the state of California. And she fought to keep cash you, bail system in place that impacts poor people in the worst kind of way. So Kamala's record's going to be front and center. I don't know if she knows what's coming. You know, the first thing that I think of when it comes to Kamala Harris once again trying to stand on her record is our border. She was appointed the border czar, and, and, and it's almost like she felt as long as she said on television, hey, the border is secure, that somehow it would magically be secure. That wasn't the case. We've had an unprecedented number of people crossing our borders illegally as the Biden-Harris administration's open border policy essentially uh, uh, aided and abetted these cartels in their multi-billion dollar human trafficking industry, making our country far less safe. Uh, the list goes on and on about Kamala Harris's failures, even as vice president over these last three and a half years, both here at home and her failed attempts at foreign policy that have made our country less safe and pushed us closer to the brink of war. So if she is the Democrats nominee, she's got a lot to be held to account for. And the reason Joe Biden was able to even win was because he was supposed to be moderate. And there's no moderate with her. None. California socialist. She's a radical. It's not going to play in the rest of the country. That is very clear. Thank you so much, Tulsi Gabbard. Have a great Sunday Thank night. Thank you, Jesse. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.